Welcome to another episode of the Life Creative Podcast. This is a show dedicated to helping you get the most from your creativity, offering you inspiration, suggestions, and discussion. So let's get on with the show. Ever had one of those weeks where you start working on something or you want to work on something and it just feels like, oh, why am I doing this? You know, especially if it's something you don't need to do. Maybe it's not your, you know, day job, your jobby job or the thing that, you know, pays the bills, keeps the roof over your head or something that you absolutely have to do. Those can be the worst for motivating yourself to keep going and get through that procrastination and sort of desire to just not bother with it today and, you know, just get into gear and and make it happen. Well, it's kind of one of those weeks, and I, I guess a lot of us are having those kind of weeks, right? You know, certainly the monotony of, you know, working from home during the day and then at some undetermined point around the normal end of the work day, I, you know, would stop work or try to stop work and then take a break, you know, which would normally be, you know, a sort of a 30, 40 minute drive home. And it's funny how much that drive home, as frustrating as it can be and as annoying as it can be in traffic, acts as kind of a transition period from, you know, sort of one set of work to a different mindset. And when you don't have that, you know, if you're something you're not used to having um, or, or used to dealing with being at home all the time, eventually there's a break point where you just it just, it'll get to you, right? You know, and I feel that at the moment, for most of us, having that imposed upon us, and for those of you that are fortunate, like myself, that you can work from home and then get your job done, you know, you've got to, you've got to find a way to shift that mindset. And so for me, that's always working on my side projects. So, you know, let's take a quick break. And when I come back, I'm going to talk about what I did this week. And it's funny because, you know, I was way more productive than I thought I was being at the beginning of the weekend. So let's take a break. And when we come back, I'll talk about it. Have you ever thought about creating your own podcast? Uh, Certainly you must like podcasts because you're listening to this one and I'm sure many others. Well, if you've ever thought to yourself, I bet I could do that better, or I have a subject that I'd like to make a podcast for, then you can go ahead and do that very easily using anchor.fm. In fact, Anchor.fm is the site that I use to host this very podcast. And what I like about it is they provide me all the tools and walk me through all the steps to not only creating my podcast, but very easily taking care of all the necessary details for distributing it as well. So if you want to go ahead and easily create your own podcast, start today on Anchor.fm. That's Anchor.fm. So as I said before the break, you know, this this weekend started as one of those like, oh, I just don't want to work on these things this weekend. But I forced myself to get into it and it actually ended up being very productive. So what I did was I have a series of videos, a course that I'm working on on my Patreon site, patreon.com forward slash PWCOM. And specifically, it's videos for working with the Swift and Swift UI programming languages, which, for those of you who don't know, is for creating um, Apple applications, right? Applications for your iPhones, your iPads, that, you know, Macs, that kind of thing. So anyway, I had about an hour's worth of course that I'd recorded from, you know, on video, capturing the screen and voiceover, and I needed to edit it. And I'd, I'd sort of been putting this off because I knew it was going to be a a big project and it was also a reason to, you know, sit and play with Final Cut Pro X, which is Apple's video editing software. You know, at the moment they have these extended trials, for those of you who don't know, with their professional software, they have these 90 day trials. And normally I, you know, I'm sort of partway through this course and I would work a different way. And it was an excuse for me to learn to use that software as well. So it took a little getting used to, but once I was in it, you know, I really started to get into it and started adding all the parts I needed, the transitions, editing the video, adding the title slides, you know, the the sort of the lower thirds as they call them on television and all that kind of thing. And it started to be fun. So the lesson there was, you know, sometimes those things that you're sort of dreading, you you just got to fight it and 
if you can keep going long enough, eventually you'll break through that wall of resistance and you know start to be creative and, and start to produce things. So that was the first one. And then, you know, after that, you know, things were seeming a little better. So I, I started work on um, this game that I'm working on in some software called Unity. I, I think I've mentioned it before. And so, you know, all of these are projects that I don't have to do. I'm, I These are just things that I do for, you know, sort of side hustle, fun things. And, you know, I started working on this in the next parts of the game and was having some fun with that too. So that was kind of interesting. And then, you know, having these two done, I thought, okay, you know, now it's time to take a look at some other things. So I had always wanted to find other ways. I'm always looking for different ways to do things because you you get stuck in a rut where you work on something like, let's say, recording podcasts, right? You know, you have a particular method you use, a particular software, a particular setup, and, and that's all fine and can sound fantastic. But that doesn't mean there isn't a better way next week. So you should always, always experiment with different things. So I was experimenting with, you know, um, I have a micro.blog site. Go to micro.blog. Uh, you know, it's a, a wonderful service. It's kind of like Twitter, but, um, you know, sort of small blogs and way better. Well, at the moment, they, you know, they're doing this uh, thing where you can try out the podcasting part as well. And it's beautifully simple. All you need to do is record an MP3 file, push it up to the site, and they'll take care of everything else. You know, as you know, I, I use anchor.com. Um, which is now part of Spotify for all of my websites, uh, for sorry, for all of my podcasts like this one. But, you know, again, I was like, well, I wanted to try this. So I put one out there today and I'll put a, a link in the show notes for it. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was very interesting. It was, it's a very different approach. I didn't want to spend so much time producing and editing and refining and, and all of that sort of you know, post-processing that you have to do. And I just wanted something where I could throw something up there. And I, I think this might be the thing. So definitely the the lesson this weekend was, you know, hang in there. Even if you just don't want to do it and, you know, you're sort of questioning why am I bothering? Well, do your best to hang in because if you can get through it, you never know that that one breakthrough of getting something done, like in my case, can lead to two other things that I just was not planning on getting done this weekend, and I did. So I ended up working at least three projects, getting an awful lot done, learning a lot, and, and you know, sort of wanting to go into the week with some new ideas for things to work on. So hang in there, give it a go, you know, just work through it. I think it'll work out for you. For me, it, it was a, you know, very productive weekend. So uh, with that, this recording of this episode is actually wrapping up the weekend. Um, as I record this now, it's about coming up for one o'clock Monday morning, and I think my weekend's done. So take that, have a good week, I'll speak to you next time.